is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social and Association with Betfred. Delight to be joined by McWilliams Arroyo here in New Hampshire. McWilliams, firstly, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Let's come down to it. You've got yourself a fight, uh, Julio Cesar Martinez. The fight was put back. It was meant to be on that Canelo Yildirim card. He got that hand injury. How relieved are you that it's finally here? You finally get your shot at the WBC flyweight title. No, I'm good. I'm I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm enjoying um, all my training, and you know, uh, come Friday night, the best man will win. Just to go back to that in February, you were meant to, like I say, have this fight then. You did get your shot at the interim title instead. How nice was it to make sure that you still had that opportunity, you still had a fight to go with and a bit of momentum going into a fight like this? You know, it, it was all right because I, I didn't want to get pulled out of the card either way because he couldn't fight, but it was good that I had to fight, you know, but um, it is what it is, things that happen. And actually, we were supposed to fight in August 15, 2020. So I, I believe it's something that's been haunting us, but now um, actually we're actually going to fight. So I believe the fans are going to see an excellent fight. I've been told you're actually quite well supported in this part of the country. Are you expecting a good Puerto Rican turnout on Friday night? Well, there's a lot of Latinos, so hopefully, you know, they're going to be supporting me. And But I don't think about that, really. You know, I, like I say, I, I go in the ring, I go up and try to do my job, you know. Obviously, I want to win, you know, but it's up to me. I have to, you know, uh, put the punches together. And like I always say, the me, be, may the best man win. What do you make of Martinez as a fighter? What does he do well, in your opinion? I believe he's an aggressive fighter. Um, he likes to throw a lot of punches. Um, so, you know, I'm aggressive as well. So, you, you know, expect an action-packed fight. So to say that, it's it's hard to envisage a fight between you two where it doesn't catch fire. Do you think this will be fight of the night? Well, um, hopefully it's going to be an excellent fight. I don't want to judge any of the fighters, you know. I, I have too much, too much respect for any fighter. So, um, But I just assure you it might be an excellent fight. Look, Williams, you've got some good momentum right now. You had that win in Miami in February, four wins on the spin as well. You must be feeling in a good place mentally going into a fight like this. Oh yeah, you know I've got I got a lot of experience. You know um, I I comp I have a lot of confidence in myself. You know, uh, but it is what it is. You know, you just got to come Friday night and and you know you got to do what you got to do. You had a fantastic amateur career. You've been a professional since 2010 as well, I believe. What is the key to longevity? How are you still so fresh after so long at the top level? Yeah, I take care of myself. I'm always in the gym. Look at me. I don't look at my age. You know, I you can probably say, hey, you can't you can't be 34 years old. You can't be. You know, but it is, um, um, I take care of myself, I like to train a lot, I eat well, so I believe that's the key. Is that the kind of thing you tell young fighters to make sure you stay in the gym? You never know when that call's going to come, right? No, yeah, you always got to stay in the gym and, you know, um, you got to do it, you got to do it. And first of all, you know, the little kids, you know, you got to go to school. School's first and then then you don't have to be a boxer, but whatever you uh, choose in life, you got to put all your dedication there. McWilliams, you had a nice haul of gold in your amateur career, obviously world amateur champion. Where would this achievement rank being WC flyweight champion compared to that gold medal win, though, if you win on Friday night? You know, um, in history in Puerto Rico, there's only two boxers with Fredo Gomez and me to be uh, uh, world champion in, in the adult. So um, I don't know if I can, like, you know, pass that. But it's, you know, every everything in my life, I, I thank my, the Lord. So, you know, it is what, if he permits it, it's going to happen. McWilliams Arroyo, good luck. Friday night, thank you for speaking to Boxing Social.